everyone, welcome to another large group. Mrs. Coop here. We're going to start our video off by wrapping our arms around ourselves and giving a big squeeze because you are loved and you are important and you are missed right now, but I'm so happy that you are safe at home and learning with the people who love you. This week we're starting a brand new study or unit and it is the insects and bugs. Um, we're also going to learn about spiders because spiders are not bugs, they're not insects, they're something completely on their own. Um, so keep looking for fun videos about books and diagrams. Mrs. Boyer has a whole page with different insects and spiders and you can click to see videos and learn more about them. So throughout the week we'll learn words that have to do with insects and spiders. It's going to be a really, really fun unit. We're going to do this for four weeks total. We'll talk about insects and spiders for four weeks before we start learning about trees. All right, we're going to start with calendar time. So I'm going to scoot you over so you can see it closer. We are in the month of September. I'm trying to get that glare off for you. There you go. September. And we did not have school on Monday, so I did put the number up for us right there. We are going to have to count all the way to figure out what is going to go in this spot right here. Can you do that with me at home? All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight is our one that looks like a snowman. It is a circle on top and bottom. I start at the top and I curve around and I go right back up to the top. It's really fun because it's very loopy. And I'm going to put it right there. Next, let's sing our Days of the Week song. Yesterday was a Monday. We didn't have school on Monday because it was Labor Day. So hopefully you got to enjoy that day with the people that you love at home without having to worry about schoolwork. Let's sing our Days of the Week song. So warm up those hands. Are you going to clap? Are you going to snap? Here we go. Days of the week. 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 There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday, and then there's Saturday. Days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week, days of the week. All right, did you hear what came after Monday? There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's t -t 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 Tuesday. Today is Tuesday, the first day of our school week is Tuesday this week because we didn't have school on Monday. So let's do the date all together. Today is Tuesday, September 8th, 2020. We have the year up now. You can see it as the year 2020. 2020. That's 2020. Fantastic job. All right, now each week we're going to have a new letter, number, color, and shape. And we haven't started doing our letters just yet, um, but we do have a different color, shape, and number that we're going to talk about. And we'll learn a new color song as well. So, our color is the color orange. Orange. And you can see that he has an orange car. The background's orange. Our shape is a square. A square has one, two, three, four straight lines that make up the sides. And it has one, two, three, four corners where the lines meet. They're the points. Boop. There's four sides, four corners that make up a square. And our number this week, do you know this one? It is the number one. You could draw it with a straight line down. Sometimes it'll have a line at the top and the bottom. No matter how you see it, it is the number one. So let's count how many shields our superhero has. Ready? One. That was so fast. So, 
this week we'll keep talking about those. You can keep looking around your house to find those different items. And see if you can find stuff that are that color, that shape, that many of something. All right, so we are going to talk about what our second step or leader in me topic is this week. It is what is a habit. There's several different books that you're going to be able to read this week that I got to read and Mrs. Skodomsky got to read. And it's talking about a habit. A habit is something that you do over and over again or repeatedly over and over again. And sometimes you do it without even thinking. So a habit might be when you sneeze, you automatically sneeze into your elbow. And then you know, and I go wash my hands. Another good habit would be if you know someone's coming behind me and I help hold the door open for them. Right? Sometimes you do it without even thinking, right? Um, a good habit might be you say things like please and thank you. So there's some books that you can read, kind of keep talking about what good habits you can build. Habits aren't always permanent though. You might have a habit of right now because you're stuck at home and around a sibling. Maybe you guys are fighting. I know my kids sometimes are arguing a little bit more because we're all stuck at home. So it's not a habit that has to be forever. We can work on that habit. So we can work on sharing. We can work on a habit of taking a deep breath when I get upset. I can work on a habit where I go, I need some space and tell someone how I'm feeling. So habits don't have to be um, a permanent thing. They're things that we can always work on and improve. So you probably have some fantastic habits that you do all the time. You might have some habits that you are going to keep working on and improving. So that's what we're talking about this week. What things can we do so we can be the best leader, the best us that we can be? All right. We are going to do our rhyme time now. All right, so do you remember the rules of rhyme time? When I point to me, I'm going to give you some words, and you are going to have listening ears. When I point to you, I'm going to have listening ears and listen to you. You are going to tell me and repeat it back. Can we do that? Yes. Okay. <clears throat> Hug bug. Great. And we're talking about bugs this week. So you'd have to be really careful if you hug a bug because you might smush it, right? <laughs> Matt cat. Great. That's a great one that you can build a bunch off of at home. See if you can add more. The cat sat on the mat. It was wearing a Hat. Great job. Fine pine. Great. Red bed. Good. And that was our color last week, wasn't it? Red. Great. My tie. Wonderful. All right. We have other things that we do during rhyme time too. So this week we're gonna add in listening to the beginning of the word and the sound that it is making first. That's called the onset, okay? The very first sound that we're gonna hear in the word. All right, you ready? Two, t. Great, that's the letter T that you're hearing make that t, 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 two. Just like today is t, 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 Tuesday. Boom. How about gold? G. Awesome. That's the letter G doing the g, g, g. Awesome. Race. R. Great. That was the letter R. It kind of sounds like you're growling. R. R. Fantastic. All right, do you want to have one more thing added this week? Can you do it? This one's probably one of my favorites. We're going to take two sounds, one sound, two sounds, and smush them together, and we make a brand new word. Are you ready? Okay, 
So these are going to be blending two words together. One word, two word. Smush it together and we'll make a brand new word out of it. All right, here we go. Shoe, box, shoe box. Can you do that? Shoe, box, shoe box. Awesome, just like that. Door, knob, doorknob. Door, knob, doorknob. Awesome. Some, one, someone. Some, one, someone. Life, time, lifetime. Life, time, lifetime. All right, one more. This is an insect. So let's see if you can figure it out before I smush it together, okay? Fire, fly. Firefly. Did you say it? Fire, fly, firefly. Oh, Guys, that was wonderful. You did a great job. All right, I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more large group fun. Bye, guys.